put it in right here. to do this live because somebody suggested it um, so I'm gonna do my best to do this reading live um, doing a reading on Ahmad Arbery and the killers the people who killed him what was it Michael McDaniels whatever their names are let me Gregory and Michael McDaniels let me get their names right so that I can say the reading in a proper so I can address it properly Hey, Mia. So, let me Google it. I just had it up, but I just want to make sure that I'm doing the reading right. I know it's Michael McDaniels. Hmm. Hey, sis. All right. So, we know that Ahmad Arbery is the victim's name. Gregory and Travis McMichael. So, um, let's, which one is the father and which one is the son? I'm about to look it up. News breaking overnight. I just want to make sure I get their names right before I start the reading. Um, okay, so Gregory is the father and Travis is the son. I feel like that's enough information. Anybody want to start with a question or should I just do my own questions and see what come out? I just want to, um, I know one thing I want to ask is what the outcome would be. I want to know why they did it. Um, we already know why, but I just want to do a reading and see what comes out. And a potential outcome for the jury, for the, when they go to the grand jury. And um, I just want to see, like, what was on their minds. What you say, what the real motive is. Let me plug my phone up. Anyway, don't tell me who to read. Y'all kind of controlling on Facebook. Um, so, Kiela, you said you want to know what the real motive is. I'm going to light some sage because I don't want to be irritated. Okay, we'll ask what the real motive is. Um, Nini, is that how you say your name? You say, well, I read evil, but there is good and there is evil in the world. Then there is human vessels who could be used for good and evil. Um, the good and the evil that people are used for is different reasons. Some people are used for good and evil as it pertains to, you know, bringing oppression to black people. Some people are used, and, and many people are used for good and evil for different reasons. So you can judge what type of evil somebody is doing, but it's a lot of motherfuckers in this world doing evil. And they may look like your mama, brother, sister, cousins. So evil is evil. And I could read anything. Um, not that they'll get healing because they're not going to watch this reading, but, you know, there's just a different type of evil. All right, so Kia, I'm gonna start with your question, which was, what was the real motive? Woo-wee. Interesting. Self-worth came out. Wow. Uh, 
All right. So self-worth card is about proving your value to other people. So interesting. I'm going to keep pulling on that. That's what came out as it pertains to motive. They want it to be valued. Kill a nigger to be valued. Excuse my language. Please don't flag this video on Facebook and remove it. Um, get the fuck out of here. Guess what came out next? Excuse my language to people who are watching this who don't curse. I curse. Expansion. This is why they did the real motive. Self-worth and then expansion. So you know what expansion means, right? Expansion is people who want to expand. They want attention. They want um, to. They want expansion. So they did it for value. They did it for expansion. So I'm gonna pull some tarot cards to see what comes out with this. That's crazy. So it wasn't an accident. It wasn't random. That's why they recorded it. Remember, a lot of people were asking, "Well, why did they record it?" They recorded it because they wanted it to be recorded. They wanted the attention from killing a black person. They, they did that shit. It wasn't random. It wasn't because they thought he was stealing. I mean, we know that, of course. Um, I mean, we can only imagine that they really didn't do it because they thought he was up. He was stealing. They did it because they wanted to expand. They wanted the attention. They wanted to prove their value. Who are they proving their value to? Who are they proving their value to? Why did... Who's expanding them? Who are they proving their value to? Let's see what that's about. Hmm. Movement. Some sort of movement. Some sort of movement that supports them. So the Perseverance card is about movement. It's about focusing on that which supports you. It's about um, getting something back on track. So basically they did it for their supporters. They wanted to increase in value. Um, whatever groups they're a part of, they did it for them. It, it doesn't even say money. They did it for clout, like you just said, um, Kiela. Yep, you're right, Mia. That's what it might be about then. Because it literally says supporters and movement. So these, these things aren't random. They're done for a reason, and, and they got clout. If that's what they were looking for, they definitely got um, support. I've seen a group that was like 30-something thousand people in it. What else is this about? That's crazy. They did it for support. Star card. Which is, that's crazy. So they, these people that we be making go viral or that, not we, because that black people be making go viral or that people be making go viral when they do something crazy like call the police for no reason or kill the black person, they like the attention that they get. Five of Swords came out, which is about a battle. Recognition, the sun. All right, so did the son really want to do it? Or was he following his dad? What, tell us about which one is the son? Travis McMichael. We got the hangman. The hangman is about a perspective. I'm not going to say this because I don't want anybody to feel sorry for him. So, um, he might not have wanted to do it. Anyway, so what other questions do y'all have? Yeah, you said you're getting, y'all getting KKK vibes. That's probably what it was about. He was raised that way, but the hangman came out, so his perspective may have changed, or he may have a different a perspective. He, Because the Knight of Cups came out in reverse, and the hangman came out upright, so it almost looks like a little reluctance is what it looks like to me. Um, 
but he still went through with it, so it don't matter. Uh, what? What will happen with your grand jury? Ooh, see, I'm glad I'm doing this live so that it doesn't look staged, but the Hierophant and the Justice card came out. Okay. Okay, so the Seven of Swords came out, which is Stand Your Ground. So this is Stand Your Ground Defense. Um, Justice will, it says the Hierophant is like an institution. This is like the judge. If you look at this, this looks like a judge. And look at that, it's two men. So this is like him and his dad before a judge with the Hierophant. And then this is also the judge that came out. And it says justice. So I'm going to keep, sometimes it means that it will get justice, but I'll keep pulling. This is the stand your ground defense. So they will try to get stand, you stand your ground as a defense. I don't know what defense they came out with already. Um, but the eight of cups just came out. So the eight of cups is usually somebody leaving one situation and walking towards another, but it was um, in reverse. They're not gonna get out. Um, they're gonna try to use that defense to get out. What else can you tell us about this? What's gonna happen with the grand jury? The star keep coming out. Why does the star keep coming out? This is cameras. If you look at the star card, you see, um, hey, I will be waving to you guys, but I'm sorry. Uh, I'll try to wave back. You know, Facebook be like, hey, this person is watching, wave, sorry. But anyway, the star card, if you look at this, is cameras. So, of course, we already knew that was going to happen. It's going to get a lot of media attention. Um... I need to clarify um, the Nine of Pentacles. Do you see how that just flew out of my hand? Anyway, so the Two of Swords is a decision, but sometimes the Two of Swords stands for a stalemate, like people not knowing what to do. Um, so something, this is about endings. Ten of Swords is making a decision to end something. But I'm going to keep pulling because... Two of Swords is like someone makes a decision, but before they make the decision, it's like they don't know what to do. It's a stalemate. You see how they're blind? This person is blinded, and then the moon is there. They're very uncertain. So the jury won't be, jury won't be clear. But why did this Ten of Swords come out? Another Ten. Ten of Pentacles on the bottom. Another ten. So this ten symbolizes something. Ten represents endings, um, but also end of one chapter and the beginning of another chapter. But how does this relate to this? And then it came out with the Six of Wands, which is sometimes it's about a following. Maybe they're going to try to end the attention. They'll be... They'll try to end the attention that this trial is getting. Um, they may try to end the attention that the trial is getting, but I'll keep pulling. Let's see what comes. Okay. Um, will they be indicted? The hermit keeps coming out too. So nines are coming and tens are coming. What is this nine? Something may happen with nine. Um, isolation is the nine, is the hermit too. So they may be um, isolated. Three of cups. Interesting. Celebration. Decision. The two of swords keeps coming out. Okay. So the Six of Wands came out again, um, which is victory, success. But who's getting victory? Who's getting success? Who's celebrating? 
Two of Pentacles is a decision. Um, what is the Six of Wands? Why does this keep coming out? I don't know. Somebody's getting victory. We'll see who. Because the Seven of... I'm sorry, the Chariot comes out. Which the chariot represents victory, the chariot represents overcoming obstacles, the chariot represents winning the war. The six of wands represents victory, success, um, and another card came out that said that too. But the thing is, who is getting this? Another nine and another ten came out. Ten of cups came out this time. Nine of cups came, like, nine, eight, ten, eight, nine, ten. I want ten, nine, eight. Eight, nine, ten. I don't know. Maybe somebody gets nine and somebody gets ten, or um, another ten. Somebody may get ten, ten years. I don't know. Um, will they go to jail? They may take an offer. They may take an offer and another 10 just came out. They may take an offer to get 10. Cycles. 8, 9, 10. They may take an offer. They may plead. They may take an offer to get 10. We'll see what happens. We'll let the time tell what happens with these eights, this nines and tens that keeps coming out. Um, I'm going to pull from the map to see what is their fate as it pertains to this case. Okay. Making a choice comes out. So somebody's going to make a choice. Movement came out. What choice would they make? Another 10. Rock bottom. What choice will they make? Bone collector came out. Let's see what this is about. They may have, you know, the bone collector, I feel like the bone collector is somebody who has dirt on other people and uses that dirt whenever, you know, like uses that dirt against them. See, sometimes we think these people are helping each other because, um, you know, they're all racist. Well, he used to work with them. So I'm pretty sure he got some bones or he got some, they got all have some hidden skeletons, um, that each other knows about because he used to work with them. So anyway, he may use this, he may use some sort of knowledge or hidden knowledge that he has about the department or whatever he has about whoever is prosecuting or who, all the people who are involved, he may use that as a resource. Yep. It says the bone collector is your inner resource. So he may use his bones or the things that he know about this department or these people that he used to work with, he may use it to get what he want out of the situation. You got wishing well. Wishing well is on the um, bottom of the deck when I pulled it. So he may use that to get something. He may use the bones that he have against the department or whoever is working the case or what is it, Glen County um, Police Department to help him in his situation. So anyway, I'm going to leave it at that to see what comes out because I don't want to spend, um, I'm going to just leave it at that. And we'll just let time tell what happens between, with these two guys. Any other questions before I get off live? Thank you for watching, guys. The video do... Oh, the video do. All right. I want to see. I want to pull some cards. This one is calling to me. I want to ask about the video do before I go. They said his name earlier, but 
I forgot his name. The guy that was recording, tell us, is he going to, is something gonna happen to him? So the two of materials came out, which is the same card as the two of pentacles that came out earlier. So it's, to me, that's like, um, a decision is still being made on whether to arrest him because the eight of emotions is on the bottom. It's still up in the air what's happening to him. Uh, what, what can you tell us about? Why did the two of pentacles come back? Will he... And some materials came out, which is again about an offer. So um, the guy with the videos, he may get an offer or have something to offer or the eight of voices came with it, which is the card for being in prison, being locked up, being jailed. So the guy that recorded the video, may they may approach him with some sort of offer or he may approach them with some sort of offer. It's still up in the air whether they're going to arrest him. But you know they use people who are part of the crime scene. You, they use them for information and they use them to put the other people in jail. So anyway, with the two of pentacles, it's like they're still trying to decide to offer him something um, or put him in jail. What, what's going to happen? Can you tell us? Do you know? Hmm. He, he may get lesser. He may get less time than them because the Empress came out with the Two of Voices. The Two of Swords already came out in this reading. It's like still a stalemate. Um, but the Empress represents the number three as well. So it could be, what can I use him for? Or he could be, it, he may get less time than the rest of them, but the 10 of emotions came out. What else, am I seeing this right here? What else is this? I'm not gonna be in here too long because I got, see, I hate when I have, I have actual pay readings to do. Win, lose situation, conflict. Five, five, five. So we got three plus two here, which is five. We have another five, and which is another five. So that's the synchronicity. He may be shown some grace. Five is the number of God's grace. He may be shown some leniency. Um, he may be shown some leniency. I don't know if he's a part of somebody's family here because the Ten of Cups came out, but he may be shown some leniency. What else can you tell us about the guy that was recording the video? Oh, he's going to snitch. The page of voices came out. He may, He's going to snitch. All right, so he's going to get a deal because he's going to snitch. He's going to He's gonna talk. Um, or somebody's going to talk to him or he's going to talk to somebody and he's going to get less time than the rest of them. So anyway, I'm going to leave it at that because... Yep, he's going to snitch. Queen of voices here. Muse of voices. He is about to start singing like a canary. He's going to snitch or he already started snitching. Uh, all right. So, boom. I got to get to the rest of these pay readings before people start inboxing me about their reading and I'm on live. So, um, if y'all want a reading, message me. I'm going to leave it at that. Peace. Thanks, guys. Trying to press finish.